Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Today we've got another beer from Tiny Rebel out of Newport, South Wales, and this is their Peaches and Cream, a milkshake IPA coming in at 5.5% ABV, 60 IBUs, and it's brewed with Citra Mosaic and Simcoe. So there you go. It's also got a lactose, smooth lactose in the IPA, which gives it that kind of creaminess, I guess. Um, 330 mil can then best before 27th of either the 8th or the 6th um, 2020 so whatever nice looking can orangey so yeah 60 IBUs then so that'd be interesting this come in a recent beer 52 box I believe glasses out of view here so here we go not had too many milk. I've had a few milkshake IPAs. I've had one from Canada and that was really damn sweet. Um, I've probably had a handful. So, yeah. So, this is obviously hazy and there's a spider in the glass. Get out and get your own. Where are you? He's going now. Hopefully. Yep. Let's put it that way around. Should we put it that way around? No, put it there. It's a bit higher, you can see it. So beer in the glass then. It's a lovely orangey colour. It, 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 it looks the part. It had a half a finger of pure white fluffy head. Um, and even at this stage of the pour, and it's there's quite a bit left in the can, it's, it's kind of naturally hazy. Looks absolutely great, creamy looking thing. I'm really looking forward to this one actually. Um, wasn't too sure about the um, going into it. The uh, oh, what was it? I've just reviewed this. Pump up the jam. I've just reviewed that one, and now I'm going on to on to this one, which um, kind of more looking forward to. So, peaches and, and cream IPA, milkshake IPA. So it's getting aroma. I'm getting wafts of aroma already. So lovely, creamy looking head. Really kind of well conditioned as well. Wow, yeah, the massive kind of peach aroma on this. Very sweet. That lactose is just pulling through. And that's it. There's not much else to the beer. So let me go straight into this one. Cheers. Got a lovely mouthfeel. Wow, I'm gonna have to have a look at the lacing it's leaving. That's really nice. It's sweet but not overly sweet. It's got a beautiful, as I've already said, mouthfeel to it. And that's, look at this lacing, it's just wonderful. Definitely that lactose sweetness is pulling through throughout the beer. It's probably a medium body. There's a little bit more of a body to the beer than the uh, pump up the jam that I've, I've just had. Um, so check out that review in the, the playlist down below. Wow. Peachy, but not not kind of like... It doesn't come across kind of synthetic or... Yeah, I think that's the right word. Where it's like added. I mean, I don't... Oh, well, I mean, it's definitely been added, but is it is it natural kind of peach? Ingredients, water, malted barley... Malted wheat, oats, it's got oats and lactose milk or milk sugar. So that seems to be the new word these days, milk sugar. Uh, peach concentrate, there we go. It, I, I'm surprised it comes across legit to me. Um, hops, yeast, um, then blah 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 blah, and we've gone into the hops already. So we have information on untapped. I was more interested in the hops, 
which is great they given the hop varieties they didn't on uh, pump up the jam which is a bit uh, I'd like to know that more than than, than anything else really um, this is actually a collaboration uh, with uh, the guys from Urban Tap House in Newport so there you go I didn't know that yeah Urban Tap House Newport uh, is a brew pub so shout out to them as well I put the links down below because I've only just found that out uh, just now so if there's any kind of website or social media handles be sure to look out for them as well it's not too bad I mean it says what it's, it, it tastes exactly how it sounds on the can a bit like the other beer but it's more to my kind of preference I'd say I mean, you wouldn't. F I mean, there's, there's no alcohol at all now. I know it's a low ABV beer, 5.5 percent, is it? That some beers are 5.5 percent, some beer, you know, five, six percent ABV. Yeah, that you know, you, can, you can't really tell this is an actual beer. There's a nice sweetness to it. it, it it's kind of medium sweet, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I just. Pff. I mean, I don't think I could drink too much of this, although I'm I'm actually really enjoying it and the experience of what I'm getting from it. This is a kind of a one and done kind of beer for me. Um, I have got a kind of a sweet tooth, but I, I'm more into kind of savoury. Like if you're converting this to food, I'll have a I'll have a cream cake now and again kind of thing. But I'm more of a kind of a a savoury sort of uh, pastry, you know that kind of kind of deal. I'm more, I'm more kind of. That's where my preference is. So yeah, great to try, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drink a four pack of this, or I'm probably not gonna have more than one. Um, it's nice to try. It's a great beer for the summer. I say it's a great beer for the summer. Um, anyway, enough waffle. I'll give it one more taste. See if there's any more flavours, and I'll give it a rating. cracking lacing as I've already said yeah there's a slight kind of almost orangey jam with this it's more yeah peachy orange they kind of collide come together don't know who wins it just comes together kind of blends with that kind of lactose smoothness milk sugar whatever you want to call it and it says peaches and cream and a bucket load of hops yeah pretty good um, so for me then rating on this one I'm going to give this a a 3.75 um, it's, it's quite sweet for my palate but I, I overall over the sweetnesses of beers I've had yeah, this is probably a medium um, but yeah one can and you'll be like you're done and happy of that um, so yeah, waffling on, like I do. 13,000 total check-ins on this one. Wow, that's a lot. It's had all the eights, 888 in the last 30 days. Pretty weird. Um, and then it's had 10,000 check-ins on this one. It's coming in at 3.80. Yeah, pretty much where I'm at with this beer. So 3.75 for me. Um, 80 check-ins. All the eights, what's that? All the eights in the last 30 days and 80 people who follow me have had this uh, and it's coming in at 3.84 so there's a very close kind of uh, number there on that one but yeah 3.75 for me all day long that's where I'm putting this one and that's pretty much what a hell of a lot of other people have said so or it's levelled out at that point so yeah interesting interesting beer from Tiny Rebel uh, Peaches and Cream Creamy Peach IPA not that it's ever going to be a style, but it's an IPA. Or a milkshake IPA, that's probably closer to the mark. So yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching then, for this waffle, and I will see you on the next review. Cheers.